lads! There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Those See that our flitches of arrows are enough for everyone! Us. Twenty Long to a man! Giedrich. None will stop us! Giedrich! Eivor! Have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Running out of ground, beetles. Again. The castle keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand. All right, I'm in.
Springles are large bolt catchers. I must disable them. Cauldrons. Out of options, dog. There's more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd the Arm, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight now. You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? 
I'm here to speak with Geatrich. Go on, then. Your master awaits. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The Lord of Justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's important. Read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back. Come on! 
You felt the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out onto the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. I know it. It must be. My mom. You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. 
But who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond? I have passed through this doorway once before with Sigurd in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand? What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. You can Please, no, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, pro woman! Curse! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. I hold the gods, Bessem. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away.
pleasure to see you, Eivor. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenaford Shire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Bessem and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. <laughs> 